star prospect was certainly a top five effort, but does raise eyebrows with today's announcement. Well, speaking of top five and eyebrow raising plays, Austin Scott has the latest Layfield Welding top five plays of the week. Opening up at Lappin Gymnasium for the top five plays this week, Shawnee and Elida in WBL action. Clock winding down in regulation in the Bulldogs as Josh Press rattles in the deep tray to tie the game at 51. This one goes into double overtime and Elida wins 61-58. Another buzzer beater at number four, Wapakoneta is submitting this video to us. Closing seconds of the third quarter, Keaton Metz gets the ball from 25 feet out and fires, shreds the net to tie the game at 34. Metz actually fell for the clock countdown in the defiant student section, but he's able to drain the shot anyways. To the Fortside Fieldhouse for play number three, Coldwater looking for the Road Mac victory. Derek Toby serves up the no-look dish, and Andy Burnett finishes with a ferocious throwdown. The junior is becoming a regular on the top five plays as the Cavs come out on top, 62-55. to Speaking of top five play regulars, one makes his return after a one-week hiatus. Kyle Arns with the theft on the cross-court pass. Watch this. Soars to the rim for the one-handed slam. The senior puts up 30 of Versailles' 46 points in the loss to Marion Local. A packed house for the Lima Cup game last week is good enough for the top spot of the countdown. A very familiar scene here as Rico Stafford gets the steal out in the open court. Reek the freak! Trademark one-handed flush. Now late in the fourth quarter, Elijah Pugsley wrestles away the rebound and gets it ahead to Jalen Thomas. Watch how easy he makes this look. Effortless, the junior with the exclamation point as the Spartans end the five-year skid to LCC. Another stellar job by our camera crew in capturing the action, and thanks to Layfeld Welding for throwing us the alley-oop on this week's Top 5 Plays.